Through the prayers of our Holy Father, so Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, O comfort the Spirit of truth, heart everywhere present, and fillest all things, treasure of good things, and giver of life, come and dwell in us, and cleanse us, and may we stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins, and massive pardon our iniquities. O Holy God, visit and heal infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. O come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down the very Christ, our King and our God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions. Lord, all my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness, the bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and then God they shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from that guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness, O Lord. Thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I had given it with whole burnt offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humbled God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Sidon, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten God, the Father before all worlds. Light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeded from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by thy prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Chosen wonder worker and pleaser of Christ, who pours forth inexhaustible streams of inspiration and a multitude of miracles upon the whole world, we praise thee with love and call out to thee, Rejoice, O holy high our Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. An angel in the flesh was thou manifested in these later times, by the grace of God who ever careth for men. Seeing the beauty of thy virtues, we cry out to thee. Rejoice, thou who from earliest childhood was adorned in piety, Rejoice, thou who didst ever live in fear of God, and do his holy will. Rejoice, thou who didst manifest the grace of God through good deeds done secretly. Rejoice, thou who dost hearken to the prayers of those in distress. Rejoice, thou who didst hasten full of love to save thy neighbors. 
Rejoice, joy to all who fall down before thee with faith. Rejoice, O holy high our Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. Beholding the abundance and variety of thy virtues, O holy high ark, we see in thee a living source of God's wonders in our time. Thou dost refresh with thy love and miracles all who cry in faith to God. Alleluia. Being filled with love and replete with theology, O divinely wise John, made wise by the knowledge of God, and adorn with love for the suffering. Teach us also to know the true God in love as we call out to thee in admiration. Rejoice, unshakable stronghold of orthodox truth. Rejoice, precious vessel of the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, righteous denouncer of impiety and false doctrine. Rejoice, zealous fulfiller of the commandments of God. Rejoice, ascetic, who didst not allow thyself to rest upon a bed. Rejoice, beloved shepherd of the flock of Christ. Rejoice, O holy high Oak Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. By the power of the grace of God wast thou manifest as a father to orphans, an instructor of the young raising them in the fear of God, and preparing them for the service of God. Wherefore all thy children look to thee, with love and gratitude cry out to God, Alleluia! Thou shouldst truly be praised from the heavens and not from the earth, O Father John, for our words are feeble beside thy deeds, yet offering to God what we have, we cry out to thee thus. Rejoice, thou who didst protect thy children by thine unceasing prayer. Rejoice, thou who didst ever guard thy flock with the sign of the cross. Rejoice, thou whose love knew no bounds of country or race. Rejoice, bright luminary beloved of all. Rejoice, model of unceasing prayer and loving kindness. Rejoice, bestower of spiritual consolation upon those in need. Rejoice, O holy high Ark Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. Overwhelmed by the tempest of perils, we know not how to praise thee worthily. O high Ark Father John, thou didst travel to the ends of the earth to save thy flock and proclaim the glad tidings of the gospel to those in darkness, giving thanks to God for thine apostolic labors, we cry out to him, Alleluia. Those near and far have heard of the greatness of thy miracles, which are made manifest by the mercy of God even to our days. And so we also marveling cry out in awe, Rejoice, enlightener of those in the darkness of unbelief. Rejoice, thou who didst lead thy people from the far east to the west. Rejoice, fountain of miracles poured forth by God. Rejoice, loving chastiser of those who have gone astray. Rejoice, with consoler of those who repent of their sins. Rejoice, guide of those who walk the straight path. Rejoice, O holy high Ark Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. Thou wast manifest to be a divinely bestowed light, to stop the destructive forces of fallen nature. O holy high Ark, preserving thy flock on the island of Tubambo, from the deadly winds and storm, by thy prayer and the sign of the cross, teach us who call upon thee for help. O holy wonder worker, to cry out in wonder unto God, Alleluia! All who have trusted in thy help in desperate circumstances and adversities have found deliverance. O bold intercessor before the throne of God, wherefore we trust in thy intercessions before God and cry out to thee. Rejoice, thou who dost avert the dangers of the elements. Rejoice, thou who by thy prayer deliver us from need. 
Rejoice, inexhaustible giver of bread to the hungry. Rejoice, abundant wealth for those who live in poverty. Rejoice, consolation for those in sorrow. Rejoice, quick uplifting for those who have fallen. Rejoice, O holy hierarch, Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. Reaching salvation, though slow of speech, thou wast shown to be like a new Moses, leading thy people out of the captivity of the godless. O all blessed John, deliver us also from bondage to sin and the invisible foe, that rejoicing we may cry out to God, Alleluia! Shining forth in thy righteousness, thou dost do the impossible, and persuade the authorities of this world to have pity on thy flock, O good shepherd, wherefore with them we also cry out to thee in thanksgiving. Rejoice, good shepherd, who didst prepare for thy wandering flock a peaceful haven. Rejoice, thou who didst show the greatest care for children and the sick. Rejoice, helper of all who call thee with faith. Rejoice, for in thy weak body was the power of God made manifest with abundance. Rejoice, thou who foldest the attacks of the unrighteous. Rejoice, destroyer of lies and exalter of truth. Rejoice, O holy hierarch, Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. Desiring to glorify as meet the ancient saints of the West, of lands which had fallen away from the truth, thou didst revive their veneration in the Orthodox Church, O lover of the saints of the East and the West. With them pray thou today in heaven on behalf of us who chant on earth. Alleluia! We see thee as a new chosen one of God, who was manifest in the latter times, as one of the holy hierarchs of Gaul, exhorting thy flock to preserve the same orthodox faith that they confessed, and astonishing the peoples, of the West by thy holy life, preserve us, that we too may abide in this faith, who cry out to thee. Rejoice, thou who wast a new Martin by thy miracles and ascetic feats. Rejoice, thou who wast a new Germanus by thy confession of the Orthodox faith. Rejoice, thou who wast a new Hilary by thy divine theology. Rejoice, thou who wast a new Gregory, by thy love and glorification of God's saints. Rejoice, thou who wast a new Faustus, by thy monastic fervor. Rejoice, thou who wast a new Caesarius, by the steadfast love for the canons of the Church of God. Rejoice, O holy hierarch, Father John. Speedy helper amid misfortunes. A strange sight didst thou behold in the new world. Thou didst encounter thy former flock in tribulation. Here was thee called to suffer persecution, and by thine patience, righteousness, and instruction to guide the flock, and didst direct the church of the mother of God, the joy of all who sorrow. Now marveling at thy patience and long suffering, we all cry out to God, Alleluia, giving thyself wholly unto Christ, O laborer of Christ's vineyard, thou knewest no rest, even at the end of thy much suffering life. Help us, the unworthy, in our labors as we strive to be faithful to Christ crying out in praise to thee. Rejoice, thou who didst endure unto the end, and so didst attain salvation. Rejoice, thou who wast deemed worthy to die before the icon of the Mother of God. Rejoice, thou who didst keep thy faith and courage in the midst of unjust persecution. Rejoice, thou who didst labor to the end for thy flock, and didst repose seated as a hierarch. Rejoice, thou who didst comfort the flock 
by being buried among it. Rejoice, thou who workest wonders for those who come to thy relics with faith and love. Rejoice, O holy Hierarch, Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. All the angelic hosts rejoice that thy souls ascend to the mansions of heaven, marveling at the wonders thou didst perform on earth through the action of the Holy Spirit, to whom we sing hallelujah. Orators find it impossible to describe thy life of sanctity with their many and eloquent words. O righteous Father John, for thou didst become a living dwelling place for the grace of the ineffable God, yet unable to be silent at the wonder revealed to our rage and feeble faith, we glorify thee. Rejoice, divine palace, from whence the counsel of the good king is given. Rejoice, for in thy humble activity thou hast angels serving with thee. Rejoice, thou who didst gain a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Rejoice, infirmary, wherein every ailment is divinely healed. Rejoice, depository, wherein thy holy labor of prayer was hidden. Rejoice, blessed temple of the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, O holy hierarch, Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. Desiring to save the world, the Savior of all hath sent unto us a new saint, and through him hath called us forth from the dark abyss of sin. Hearing this call to repentance, we the unworthy ones in turn cry out to God, Alleluia. Thou art a wall sheltering us from adversity, O Father John, for through thy heavenly intercessions are we delivered from the attacks of demonic passions and from afflictions which beset us on earth. Before thy firm support of prayer we cry with faith. Rejoice, I, to those who are blind. Rejoice, thou who by the power of prayer givest life to those on their bed of death. Rejoice, thou who with divine wisdom dost enlighten those in confusion and doubt. Rejoice, refreshing water to those perishing in the heat of sorrow. Rejoice, loving Father, to the orphaned and abandoned. Rejoice, holy teacher of those who seek the truth. Rejoice, O holy hierarch, Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. In thought, word, and deed, thy life was a hymn to the most holy trinity, O most blessed John. For with much wisdom didst thou explain the precepts of the true faith, teaching us to sing with faith, hope and love to the one God in trinity. Alleluia! We see thee as a radiant lamp of orthodoxy, for those in the darkness of ignorance, O good shepherd of the flock of Christ, thus even after thy repose, thou dost reveal the truth to those ignorant thereof, illumining the souls of the faithful who cry out to thee such things as these. Rejoice, thou who with divine wisdom dost enlighten those who languish in unbelief, Rejoice, rainbow of quiet joys for the meek. Rejoice, thunder to those obstinate in sin. Rejoice, lightning burning up heresies. Rejoice, downpour of the dogmas of orthodoxy. Rejoice, dew of the thought of God. Rejoice, O holy higher Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. With reverence and thanksgiving do we receive the grace that hath been poured out upon thee by God, O most lauded Father John, glorifying the wonders of a holy hierarch who once walked among us. We cry out to God, Alleluia, singing praise unto God, the heavenly choir of saints, rejoiceth that he hath not forsaken the fallen and faithless world, but hath manifested his almighty power in thee, 
his meek and humble servant. O blessed John, with all the saints we greet thee and give honor to thee. Rejoice, new star of righteousness, which hath shone forth in heaven. Rejoice, new prophet, who was sent before the final reign of evil. Rejoice, thou who like Jonah dost warn all of the wages of sin. Rejoice, thou who like the Baptist John calleth all to prayer and repentance. Rejoice, thou who like Paul endured much for the sake of the gospel and the preaching of the faith. Rejoice, new apostle, whose miracles instill in us faith and awe. Rejoice, O holy higher Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. O all radiant and most wondrous God, pleaser, holy higher John, consolation for all who sorrow accept this, our offering of prayer, that through thy prayers to our Lord, we may be delivered from fiery Gehenna, and by thy God-pleasing intercessions we may chant forever unto God. Alleluia! O all radiant and most wondrous God-pleaser, holy higher John, consolation for all who sorrow, accept this our offering of prayer, that through thy prayers to our Lord we may be delivered from fiery Gehenna, and by thy God-pleasing intercession we may chant forever unto God. Alleluia! O all radiant and most wondrous God-pleaser, Holy Hyark Father John, consolation for all who sorrow, accept this our offering of prayer, that through thy prayers of our Lord we may be delivered from fiery Gehenna, and by thy God-pleasing intercession we may chant forever unto God. Alleluia! An angel in the flesh was thou manifested in these latter times by thy grace of God who ever careth for men. Seeing the beauty of thy virtues we cry out to thee, Rejoice, thou who from earliest childhood was adorned in piety. Rejoice, thou who didst ever live in fear of God and do his holy will. Rejoice, thou who didst manifest the grace of God through good deeds done secretly. Rejoice, thou who dost hearken to the prayers of those in distress. Rejoice, thou who didst hasten full of love to save thy neighbors. Rejoice, joy to all who fall down before thee with faith. Rejoice, O holy higher Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. Chosen wonder worker and pleaser of Christ, who pours forth inexhaustible streams of inspiration and a multitude of miracles upon the whole world, we praise thee with love and call out to thee. Rejoice, O holy higher Father John, Speedy helper amid misfortunes. O wondrous higher John, thou didst stretch thy heart to encompass within it a multitude of people from among diverse nations and peoples who honor thee. Look down at the humility of our words, which we offer out of love for thee. And help us, O saint of God, to cleanse ourselves from all defilement of flesh and spirit, so that we may labor for the Lord with fear and rejoice in him with trembling. What shall we render unto thee for that joy which we have felt, beholding thy sacred relics in the holy church and glorifying thy memory? Truly we have nothing to offer thee, except if we begin to correct our lives, becoming new men instead of old. Be an intercessor for us of this grace of renewal. O holy John, help us in our weaknesses, heal our sicknesses, cure our passions by thy prayers. O thou who dost depart this temporal life, unto life eternal, to which the all-pure mistress, the directress of the Russian diaspora, guided thee by her wonder-working Kursk root icon, whose companion thou wast on the day of thy repose. Thou dost now rejoice in the choir of the saints, who glorify the one God, who is worshipped in Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O beloved Hyrk John, good shepherd and beholder of the hearts and minds of men, thou prayest for us now at the throne of God, 
as thou thyself didst say after thy death, Even though I have died, yet I am alive. Beseech the most compassionate God, that he grant us forgiveness of sins, that we may come wakefully to our senses, and cry out to God, asking that we be given the spirit of humility, the fear of God, and piety in all the ways of our life. As thou wast the merciful nurturer of orphans, and a skilled instructor on earth, be thou now a guide and Christian understanding for us amid the turmoil of the church. Hearken to the groaning of the troubled youth of our corrupt times, who are tempest-tossed by most wicked demonic possession, and mercifully regard the despondency of our weak pastors, caused by the inroads of the corrupting spirit of this world, and who languish in idle indifference. Hasten thou to make supplication, we cry to thee with tears. O fervent advocate, visit us, who are orphans scattered over the face of all the world, and in our homeland astray in the darkness of the passions, yet who, by our feeble love, are drawn to the light of Christ, and await thy fatherly instruction, that having acquired piety, we may be shown to be heirs of the kingdom of heaven, where thou abidest with all the saints, glorifying our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be honored and dominion, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. It is truly me to bless the O Theotokos, and Mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou with us day bearest God the word, and our truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee, O Heavenly King, O comfort the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fill us all things, treasure of good things and giver of life. Come into all us and cleanse us from every state and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins, and master pardon our iniquities. O Holy God, visit and heal infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord and mercy, Lord and mercy, Lord and mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us. Amen.